Welcome to the Seleucid campaign for Davidi at Empire 1.2. In the last part we went to war with Galatia over here and we made some very substantial progress. We pushed through here. We've now taken two parts of this province here of Bithynia at Pontus but we also run into a little bit of a problem here in the sense that we, well, we took this settlement here but because of the rebellion issue there's some rebels have spawned here and taken this back so the first thing we're gonna to have to do is take this back and I think we can just go in with the auto resolve here 77% uh, maybe not just going to encircle that for the moment and we've also got this army here which I would like to come and lay siege to this settlement here just to stop this army building up I, I think we're just gonna come in here yeah, I mean we could go for the sneaky auto resolve here. I mean, 84%. 80, it's actually not too bad actually. For some reason, these guys are. Uh, I th my inclination is to go for the auto resolve here, simply because I think trying to get into here would be quite difficult. I mean, yeah, let's go for the auto resolve here. This army is not going to fight for a little while and of course I use the my Lydian allies to weaken this garrison down so we're just going to come in here and we've now taken this settlement here and I think we will probably do that and that and we will probably need actually before I do anything I've got a problem here we've got a temple Again, I think we need a muster field here, and I th uh, we need to avoid the slums here. And I th what we got here, timber. I'm just going to make money. Well, from thirty timber. Uh, well, we better here. We got a bit of public order from here, and the food. I th we got food from that. Uh, I mean, well, we don't. We got a garrison here. I, I think if we go that way, we'll be far better. And of course, we're going to need to take these guys back. But. I so we got None will escape. I just don't want to take this level of damage. I don't know why the auto resolve thinks that this army is something to be feared. Okay, well guys, we're going to fight this. Oh, the enemies come out. We're going to just kill them. There's no, there's no contest. Yeah, I just. Sometimes the auto resolve completely just blows me away guys because I got that good result on the walled city and I'm fighting four units in a pretty trashy garrison with a full stack army and it says 70% casualties Now we're certainly not going to fight the fog Nice and dry and And they're actually sallying out I mean, true, this is not the most elite army going, but I mean, it's my second string army, but it should still be pretty respectable. Oh, the two sets of hoplites. Just push you onto that side. And I think you guys can just form up the flanks on each side. Actually, let's keep it simple. These guys have got the same range, so there's no point. And I think we'll go for a little bit more of a classic front line. Uh, cavalry. Tarantines out on that flank. And. Oops. Wait. 
let's just move these guys forward. I mean, they've got damaged archers, so I mean, the clump of trees will be a little bit of a problem. I don't want my slingers to get too far ahead. Now they've got traps and that there because the army's put out defences. For some reason, selling out armies always seem to get that. So. Right, just let this army get into position first so that the line doesn't fragment. Right, they're now coming towards us. Oops. If I'm doing stupid camera movements, guys, is I'm on the, my new machine. I'm still get. I think I may have to adjust my mouse movements a little bit. Discovered the enemy's hidden units. Yep. Of course the AI has done its usual derpy thing. They've come through the defences. I think the, these guys can just skite a little bit through there. general be okay a line keep moving forward a little bit yep slingers tarantines Guys, turn in this. The battle was always in our favour. Hey, I can always guarantee my general. Focus fire on the center. Guys, concentrate on those, they're breaking. Slingers, I think you've done enough damage. Pull away. I think we can just do this with normal, normal cav. Yeah. 
that these guys are holding. You guys can turn this flank. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, these guys are shaken. You guys come over this way. Don't think we need to use wedge. Guys, crush it to here. Guys, come into the backs of these. General. It's turning into a little bit of a scrum. Okay, you guys pull back that way. Right. I think you guys can start to push in on these guys now. Tarantines. Not sure how. I suppose these guys are. Right. These guys are shaken. Right. Hoplites break out this way. There, where's my general? General this way. Got here. These guys have broken. I, I suppose you're chasing. Yeah, end battle. We lost 240. Mm, lost 10%. No, that, that's still less than what we got. It's a bit too much friendly fire. Got one of our hoplite units took a lot more damage than it should have done. I was going to take it back. And the Pontev. And hopefully these guys didn't do that much damage. Right. Actually, we can cancel that because we got this here. Oh, so this is part of this region. Okay. Um, we got a temple. We got that there. Um, I think maybe we can. Synop, where's the Synop is there? Eventually we will, oops. We will take Nicodemia. So I don't really need that. There, we can probably put some food there. Uh, we don't need the workshop. I think what I might do is go. Oh, we got here, Shrine of Artemis. That's plus two. That's plus two, that's plus two. So these are all because we can't afford the sacred grove. I would really like that. What's the conversion like here? 14 versus two versus two versus zero. No, I, I think I think we're just going to leave that the way it is at the moment. And these guys are now taking attrition even though they're raiding. Right, let's just see what we got left now. I think we're going to have a period of consolidation now. Simply because, well, I can't afford to... I mean, I think I'll we'll, we'll drop that in there. Into this area here. And that might improve public order. I mean, obviously this is going to be complete trash. And I think... I think we're going to knock that down and we'll put a Agora in there. I mean, we're going to get rebel rebellions everywhere. As I said, I think we're going to have to have a period of consolidating this area. 
I mean, one of the problems is that when you grow incredibly quickly like this, I mean, we've increased our empire by almost a third, almost nearly a half, actually, because we've done one, two, three, four, five, six regions in so many turns. And, I mean, that makes a big difference. You can see here we've got lots and lots of public order, potential food. Oh, well, the food's not too bad. And what we're going to need to do is stabilize this area out. I th you've got that there. You keep going for that army so that I can get some training in. And the other thing I also want to look at is we've just got an increase in Imperium, I think, yes. So we might have a loyalty problem. Uh, the loyalty is good. This guy's a little bit low. Uh, the Macedonian nobility and oh this guy's actually now got a trait so he didn't have a trait before maybe I have to you have to wait so many turns after recruiting them before that trait turns up what you got here I mean we really need to get this guy married so that he will put on a bit more uh, I can say loyalty Right, and this agent's free. I think we're just going to send this agent down this way to look, see what the situation in Nicodemia is. Now, I'm not sure I really want to push on Nicodemia straight away, uh, just to show you guys. I mean, we've got out as far as here, so we've effectively got a buffer here with Pergamon and Bithnia there, and we've taken out Galatia, and at the moment these two factions will act as a buffer against these idiots because I do need to get this able area stable and my inclination is to come back this way and I don't have my tele telecation telemation on okay never mind I will have to fix that so I'm just gonna go for it and in turn all right we've got a whole load of skills oops so and I certainly want you discredit chance of wounding enemy and uh, wealth from local province that could be useful anything else here cultural conversion how, how is the culture here uh, we're 12 against 6 I think that's good enough I don't think we actually need how can I serve the people? and Raiding agents that gives me extra cultural conversion empire wealth I mean we could don't have need that I think we're gonna go with that path I've got my navy down here he is growing quite well I mean you can't you're only gonna have elephants again you're not doing much at the moment so I think we're whoops we'll give you this Empire maintenance route and was going to right. you've got traditions we certainly want campaign movement range and accomplished terminals I think we'll just go with the ones we always do go for and right I think we'll make you siege experts so that you can get medium siege equipment should you need it and we're just going to go for an end turn guys right we've got rebellion in synop that's not a problem we can put that trash out for a little while and over here construction complete we've got a library complete over here that's good and over here just going to show you guys looks like uh, let's see here. Patartha's having a good go at Bactria. So that's looking good. Because I think. But these. So they're actually pushing out the Empire that way. And at the moment, I think our, our, our satrapies actually like us a bit, don't they? Yep. Let's see if we can get a trade. In my Lord's name, yep. be welcome. And, and we'll, we'll get a little bit of, of cash course. from them. Bring you the profit of the day. That will buy these guys in. These guys like us. 
you're still enemies but I think these guys are staying in because we're fighting wars and not actually technically including them in that those guys are staying with us what we got here I mean we've got a full size army here and my inclination is to let these guys stand for one more turn because they can't really do any damage because I've got armies all round here so right so I think we'll put that hoplite barracks in actually we need to be a bit more strategic if I put in Syria's got you're here and you've got the cavalry recruitment here so yeah I think maybe having a barracks there will make sense I mean this is always going to be a little bit of a problem child simply because we we side I mean eventually we will take side from Egypt but uh, Iconium is one of our uh, satrapies so right okay yes uh, I can imagine what the we have minus 10 still I think we just need to sort this area out first but before we start taxing it and um, over here I mean you guys minus three I mean we're, we're still making enough money at the moment I just want this whole, whole area turned round actually I think if we go for that that would give us a path I mean we can always convert over I think for the short term we want that and that's going to be effectively all my cash this turn all right let's see we've got parza this needs to expand okay oh well oops and uh, we got this here i think we'll go food again here because if we can get this is food we could then probably convert this to that and make some more cash Right, let's just have a quick look round. I mean, we can sneak the agent over here and just have a quick look up over here to see what. So we've got the Thinny, the Drassins are still here. I think maybe we will come across and see if we can make contact with Macedonia. I think you could probably just go into patrol. You're big enough and ugly enough to look after yourself you can come out and I think you can just yeah that's got the um, yeah we've now got the public order starting to turn round in fact I could probably if I come here What we could do is bring this army down to because this area now is pretty safe I think you just get in and do the military training this army comes down and sets up camp here this would keep these yozers away but eventually we need to raise a navy and uh, I mean uh, those bozos may come Oops, I might have made a bit of a mistake there, but if they come, uh, I'm just going to get rid of them, I think. We hunger for battle. For glory I'm and just going to take out the trash. I didn't want them sneaking up and taking that settlement. I mean, it's the type of thing the AI does. So, right, we've got another increase in rank. You just pull back here. And you can hold position here. Right, just go. And, uh, I th well, you've got artillery, so you don't need siege engine. What we got here? Public order. I mean, this army. 
I mean, this army could probably do with the extra gravitas. And that's going to... I think we're going to push this army up their morale. Right, charge. I think we do that. Just pile up the movement range because artillery armies always take a movement range hit. So having the extra movement range in an army that's got artillery it makes all the difference. Anyway, we're just going to go for an end turn, guys. Right, we've got advanced chariot training. Don't think that's going to do us that much good here. But got war declared between the Kartuli and Media Atropine. Mm, that could do us both a favour and a problem. Uh, where's my other agent? I've lost an agent. Oh yeah, you're up here. So I'd guess it's Media Atropine attacking. I don't know. Uh, maybe... I mean, it'd be nice if the Kartuli push against Media Atropine and get two regions up here. Then we can take that from them and then we can squeeze in. Right. This army, I want you to come up to about here. And you can just... Uh, we're just going to bring it. You can stand down here. Waiting for more orders. Very tempted to have a smack at these guys. I think we're going to go for the auto resolve. I just want to get rid of this navy. I know we're going to take damage, guys, but I think if we get rid of the, these, yeah. We still have a good right, we've now destroyed these. And you can get back ashore. Going ashore. And you can just go into patrol. March until your feet bleed. Oh, actually. Can you recruit here? You can't recruit anything anyway, so. Ready for orders. And I think we're just going to let this army now recover. And what can we get in here? I think we're going to go economic again. And we still only got elephants. But I think getting rid of the, the Galatians will make a big difference now because it means I can drop these down in... That gets rid of the raiding. You're up here. You're now. This is the positive 13, so we should be able to tax the province here. And it will still put a little bit of that on there. So that's looking good. And I mean, right, so let's just have a quick look through the provinces we got left now is this one but this is going to take a little while to stabilize Syria's looking good wait we could again we got uh, we've got cavalry you're quite a small province aren't you let's have a quick look no oh, you push up to here I think Maybe we will have a stables here. I mean, eventually, as the empire grows, I will knock some of these down. But right, I think the how's the cultural influence nine against two eight. Right, I think I, I want to go for the sacred grove here. And that's going to take a lot of my cash. Just make sure we don't have any slums. I mean, you've got a food problem here. So I think maybe if we drop some food into there, that will help that situation. I mean, I definitely need a period of peace to build my empire up. Now in the last part, we got this here. I mean, we could go 3% upkeep for fleets. Hoplite barracks. Let's just have a quick look at what the what do we get for a tier three barracks? Right, we're gonna get some pretty good uh, royal paltas. Okay, that makes my mind up. 
we're going for the tier 3 barracks so we can get Royal Paltas. If we can get Royal Paltas into our armies, then we're going to become virtually unbeatable. I mean, if I got. Can I recruit any more agents? Yeah, we need some extra governors. We've got an extra spy. We've got an extra champion. Right. I think we're going to need to get maybe an extra governor up here. Anyway, I'm just going to go for an end turn, guys. Right. Hidden agent exposed. Uh, mission failed. Raise an army. Yeah, well, not particularly worried that much. I've got a new governor. Let's get you through here. I just want to have a quick look. So, who's this? This is the Thinny. I don't know if we made friends with Macedonia yet. Yes, we have. Macedonia don't like us. The Thinny were trading. The Adrassians were trading. I, mean, I will listen carefully to your words and then. Right, let's get a trade deal with those. I think my diplomacy is working out a little bit. Uh, about uh, Carthage. Does this pass for speech? No, okay, Where do you, you come don't. from? I mean, I don't really want to get into too many minor wars until this has been stabilised. My inclination is definitely to take out Major Atropy next. Uh, it looks a bit like it's it's the Cartuli that's making the move, which is implying that Major Atropy is a bit weak, which is in some ways is good. Okay, I think what was it? I need a, an extra governor. I think maybe a governor up here will help what we got here. Growth per turn, a public order, wealth, research rate. I actually like this, this guy actually. I mean, let's just have another quick check. Yeah, I mean, we've got loads of there. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get this guy here. And we're just going to recruit him into the Empire here. And I mean, I could do, do with another veteran, but I'll just see what we got to build. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Mm, let's see if there's anything better economically. Do with that sanitation growth public order this will then move down to uh, it's going to consume food and provincial agreements and uh, let's just see I mean we're pretty good for food at the moment so I don't really Palmyra How's a public order here? Fairly good. I mean, that would give us growth per turn, bonus to garrison morale, defense, minus upkeep for land units, security against all agents, and give us a tiny little bit of garrison. I mean, and that would come up here. That would consume a little bit of food, public order. How is the public order here? Why is this not? No, it's better. Growth. We don't need growth. I f uh, don't feel I really need that at the moment. I'll just have a quick flip through, guys. I feel I need to put more into this side. Actually, we've already got one, two. Here, we've got an outpost in here. I, 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 I think this is a mistake. We're going to knock that down. And what I'm going to do is convert this to a gymnasium. Because that's going to give me public order. This is a public field. 
you're in trapezoid. That's giving me a little bit more garrison. Yeah, let's give me armed natives in the garrison. Okay. I, 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 I just feel that that's a better combination. But we'll see, we'll see guys. I think we're going to go one more turn and then that's it going to be it for this part guys. I, I don't want to bore you too much with doing this routine maintenance stuff. And we've got here cultural conversion. Uh, I think we're going to go with that. Just keep pushing the empire up. And just want to check how's the politics situation. You guys have improved a little bit. Are you, are you able to get married? No. You need 20 gravitas. What's up with you? Oh, do not have enough money. Okay. We'll get you married next turn. Okay, guys. We've got increase in rank. Yeah, Jerusalem's under. Bandry missing supplies. That's going to cost us money. Child is born. Mission is successful. All right. We've got some cash to spend. Objective issued. Objective issues subjugate 13 different factions, making them your satrapies or captains. Yeah, well, I'm probably not going to go for that. These Yozos here, Nabatia, have decided to declare war on us. I mean, can we teach them the error of their ways? I mean, who are we actually fighting now? Nabatia, and uh, let's see if we can piece them out. Do not wander in like a desert beggar. If you have yep. Daddy. Just go away. Uh, it annoys me sometimes when the AI does that. But I think we're... I think that was it. Nabatio, you... I mean, I, I don't want your territory. Quidri Confederation. The Quidri Confederation comes down here. Um, I mean, you are on my hit list, but not after I've consolidated up here. I think, I mean, we've got this area here. Right, we're going to come. Let's just get this so I don't get any thing. Right, I think we're going to go back to here. And I'm going to start with this army. And I'm going to start moving this army back this way. Um, this is the army that took the beating. Okay. Ready for orders. You're going to come back to defend. Nope, nope. Advance. Oops, I've messed that up, haven't I? Uh, you don't have a barracks here. But I was going to put cavalry here, wasn't it? Right. I think I want you... To fall back to here. The trapezoid will still be okay. I want you guys to merge up. I want you, you to just move back to here. And that's going to pump this up. I think I'm going to need to bring my two full stack armies back. Your job's going to be to keep this area peaceful. So I've only got the we got here. Got, where's where's my armies? We've got one there. Got one over here. Got one here. I mean, we've got friends here, so this army can. We've got that area there, and we got this silly little army over here. That's okay. I think what I need is this army needs to move back and refurbish and build up a little bit. This army just needs to settle down a little bit. In the sense of that, yes. Yeah. So I think what we will do is move our armies this direction. I think what I do need here is another spy. Manipulation, coercion, wealth. Uh, plus one pieces of information discovered. I think we're just going to recruit you and take advantage of the cash bonus. Looks like uh, Midratropine have got all their armies up here, so that's okay. 
and we've got this guy here. You can come into here. What can we get you? Uh, plus one cunning. I think that's a good combination. Got here. Um, oh, yeah, certainly would want that with this guy. Campaign movement range, yes. And that. Yeah, I think we'll pull this army back ready. Where's this army? I'm going to pull you back in this way. Actually, no. I want you up here. It's going to take you two turns to get here because if we go to war with Media Atropine, they may decide to push an army through here. So, and my instinct would be to literally punch through here and take that. Where's my agent? How can I be? Of the, yeah, know. these guys are still fight duking it out here. That's good. Right, we've got seven thousand left to spend. I don't really want to build that army up. I don't think you guys can't recruit anything here, can you? Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Ah, oh, because of course you got the muster field. Right. It's my my fail there, guys. Right. Let's get a replacement for that. And you guys are good. My instinct is to get rid of this guy so that I can see what we can get cav wise here like cav uh Sukalid citizens cavalry they're not particularly that good got sarissa lancers here um anything else what we got here axman levies mm, i mean i would mind some decent axmen but levies aren't particularly that good i mean if we merge these guys up and um, yep sorry you guys have got to go um, I'll just replace you with that. And I, I mean, we could merge these guys up. They don't have any experience. Get rid of you. And what can we do archer wise? We've got 165. We've got 29. I, I must admit, I do like the range of this guy. So that builds this back into a force uh, heavy spearmen uh, I think that's gonna work as an army working with I mean we're gonna form an army group with this army here so we're gonna have I mean in some ways this elephant unit really needs to be in this army maybe we'll do a swap and then I mean meter atropine's got some fairly heavy armies but we're going to let them exhaust each other fighting here so we're not going to rush into the battle and what we got here Syria okay I don't want that I think we're just going to push the food up a bit we've got some stuff here and we've got more food here what is this? This is yeah food. I think I would like to bit get that actually. Let's just change that a bit. If we come up here, cancel that for the moment. And down here. That's Tyrus. Uh, that's, that would give me the reason I'm doing that is that if we go in against Petra, having a the ability to what is it here? Supply line. I have supply lines in here. Will be quite useful. Trouble is, this this idiot is liable to come back. I mean, we, we could raise a general here. Uh, I mean, what have we doing family-wise? What have we got here? What have we got. This is royal Phyllis, Macedonian nobility, Macedonian nobility. I think, I think the problem is we, the moment we've got plenty of. Put Royal Philoi here. So we could. Uh, I 
think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to raise this guy. He's public order. And you're 512. Yes. I mean, we got the money for it. So we're going to raise this guy here. And he can't recruit anything. But I think if we spawn a small army here, we got the money for it. So this will act as an extra deterrent to these yozos. In fact, I think we're going to go one more turn just so I do that and remember, guys. Oops. Okay, what we got here? A need for cavalry. Uh, cavalry recruitment costs. Oh, well. I might as well get that. Faction rises. The Rafati Confederation. They're in the middle of here somewhere. Long way from where we are. I, th I forgot to move my agent last time. I think what we're going to do is just push the agent through to here. Because I think I would like to make contact with Rome. If nothing else, just to find out what they're up to. So we got, we've now got that area there. And of course, the thing I wanted to do is I'm going to recruit a couple of slingers. Actually, nope. Might as well get these guys are cheaper. And. What's the garrison here? Like, we got a full 20 stack garrison. We got two Greek hoplites, sisters, and militia. Yeah, well. And I think we'll just drop in. Actually, just cancel that for the moment. Household expands. Okay. Ready for orders. Local band of that. Obsessive, cultured. Right, it's going to take a little while to keep. So we're just going to have to move this army over. And you can come here. Okay. Ah, it should have. It should have did that first. Not that I think it would have had that much effect. Right, this army's just got one unit missing. What we got? We got four. What do we really need in here? Got nothing to recruit. Okay. Ready for battle. I think you can just fall back into here. And patrol. Just keep this public order going well. Right, we've got the logs built. This is all built up now. And that's going to be 5,000. Ready for orders. Oh, mercenaries, what we got here. Wow, Armenian mercenary, heavy cavalry. 4,600, wow. <laughs> yeah, well, in my dreams, in my dreams, guys. I think if you come down to Tushba, you might be able to recruit something here. Yep. Because we basically absorbed. What we did is we uh, decimated the population in this area. What would I want? I've got. Uh, nothing really grabs me. I could really. I really feel that I need a second cavalry unit. That's got armor 26. I actually like this Suclid Citizen Cavalry actually. Helps speed 10. They're slower than the Sarissa Cavalry, but these guys are. Man, defend Flanix. I actually quite like that. I'm not sure why these guys have got Parthian shot on them because they don't have any. Fire whilst moving, but you don't have any um, ammunition as far as I can see. So I'm not sure why you would have flying wedge recruitment cost. Um, 
Yeah, I, th I think what. Base morale. These got more morale. These have got more armor. Got this is a bonus versus infantry. This has got a bonus versus cavalry. We've got a charge bonus of 123. Wow. Sarissa Lancers. These guys are cheaper. They've actually got a better charge bonus. Uh, their melee defense isn't so good. Their armor's a lot worse. They're a lot cheaper as well. Uh, almost the length of a pike. Let's just give these guys uh, a whirl. I mean, we got here. Plus five percent experience gained per turn on parent army. Okay. So got this area here. I think we can afford that extra. No, we've only got five thousand. Let's just see what we can spend. Mesopotamia is okay. Syria is okay. Uh, that was it. You're doing okay. I, I think we're. I can't do that. Great. Uh, food is good. Let's see if we've got anything else here. Uh, I, th I think I would like to go for the public order there. We want to get this underway. Palmyra's looking good. You're looking good. Parza. I mean, I've got lots of stuff all over the place now, and I mean, we, well, that, that that would give us a bit more cash compared to that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go this way for the moment. That's going to give us more supply base. We can always convert that to a farm if the food situation gets bad. Right, guys, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. hope you found it interesting. What I might do off camera is play a couple of turns to get into position so that I can have my armies ready for an attack against... Uh, I mean, I could... Now, I could actually... Uh, now, I think my inclination would be to go for me to atropine first out of the gate. Simply because they're the bigger art, art faction, and if we can sweep through and take them out, I think that would make a difference. So we can get here, and if we can take this area here and consolidate it, then we can form a defensive line there. I wouldn't want to go further north than that. We may take out the Kartuli if they cause any trouble. And the idea would be to make a defensive line here. I'm missing my uh, drawing tools. So I definitely have to enable them. And that would give us a solid uh, northern border then. This would be nice and solidified. And then we can start to probably to turn our attention to here or maybe coming down and taking out Nabatia and Kudri, or we could have another crack at the Egyptians. But that's all for the future. This is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>